This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. Hey, it's your boy Hose bringing you a duck profile this time on uh, Dimension Police for V Series. Uh, let's get this started. First off, my starter little hero Draco Kid. I run it because I get really uh, bad anxiety when I don't have a dragon in any deck that I run. I'm kidding. I just do that to make that bad joke. Run it to just ah, run it to make that bad joke. Next is uh, my main grade 3, and my favorite uh, grade 3 Dimension Police of all time, uh, Galactic Beast Zeal, because Galactic Beast Zeal says ACAB. Uh, skill is, when placed from Vanguard slash Rearguard, when placed from hand, look at the top card of your deck and call it to Rearguard. If this unit is on Vanguard, choose one of your opponent's Vanguards, and it gets minus 5k, until the end of the turn for each marker on your opponent's circles. Uh, second skill is Act Vanguard Circle. Uh, counterblast one and put one or more rearguards into your soul. Choose one of your opponent's vanguards until the end of the turn it gets minus 10k. And if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater and Devourer of Planet Zeal is in your soul, soul, this unit gets plus one drive for every two cards you put into the soul. So you can give it uh, qu quint Quintuple Drive? No, wait. Uh, quad drive, right? Yeah, well, at most quad drive. Next, I run for a uh, black clad top tier deity, Brad Black, or as I call him, Black Chad. Uh, once per turn, counter blast one, three of your front row units get plus 10k. Sorry about that. At the end of the battle at attack, look at top 7 cards of your deck, reveal up to 1 grade 3 from among them, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. If your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, discard 2 cards from your hand, write a grade 3 not named black clad, top tier deity Brad Black. That's a mouthful, Jesus Christ. Uh, and uh, that unit gets plus 10k and drive check minus 1. So, that's... Uh, next, I run... Three Great Dayusha skill. When placed, your front, uh, three of your front row units get plus 10k until the end of the turn. Until the end of the turn, and hand at the end of the battle that your Grade Three Vanguard attacked. If that unit's attack is 45,000 or greater, and uh, this uh, and it was not placed this turn, counter blast one. Red discard is standing and gets plus 10k until the end of the turn. So if you haven't noticed, this deck's main gimmick. Just ride on, it's a superior ride, superior ride, superior ride. It's super fun to use, especially when you're like, late in the game, and then you uh, go into this, and then you superior ride that, your opponent has a bunch of triggers, I mean, uh, what are they called, markers, boom, they go into the negatives. That's not it for grade 3s though. I still have a few, a uh, few more. I run two die liner. Uh, all of your grade three units get plus 10k shield and act once per turn. Counter blast one until blast one. Look at the seven cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up to one normal unit from among them and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. If you reveal the grade three, this unit gets plus 20k and plus one crit. Really loving the power. I honestly have not had this much fun playing Vanguard uh, as I, as I have with this deck. I think I found my new main if I if I ever bring back uh, clans in overdress. Anyways, uh, finally, for grade 3s, I run one super dimensional robo die arm. This card comes in clutch a lot. Uh, since its skill is van uh, activating it, uh, uh, activated on vanguard or rearguard. When it's, so when it's placed, if your opponent's hand has 10 or more cards, 3 of your front row units get plus 30k until the end of the turn. So, like... I would place it on uh, the back row rear guard when I didn't have any boosters, and my uh, my opponent has 10 cards, give it everything 30k, and it just makes everything hit for numbers. It's really funny. Next, I run, next for my grade 2s, I don't run many of them. Here's uh, Devourer of Planet Zeal. Counterblast 1 and rest 2 rear guards. Choose one of your opponent's vanguards, and it gets plus 5k until the end of the turn. If Devourer of Planet Zeal is in your soul, draw a card. I don't really use that skill. The one I do use is, um, obviously, is when it's wrote upon by a grade 3. Choose one of your opponent's vanguards, and it gets minus 5k, because 
this is my ideal grade 2 ride. Uh, next, I run two uh, Quick Hero Active Mask. Nice little restander in the rear guard circle. When your Vanguard attacks, if that unit's 30k or greater, counterblast one and stand this unit. Next, I run one Platinum Ace. During your turn, this unit gets plus 5,000 once per turn when it attacks. If your grade 3 or greater Vanguard is 3,000. Uh, or more, so I'll blast one. This unit gets plus 10k and a crit until the end of the turn. Grade ones, I run four Eye of Destruction Zeal. When placed, look at the seven cards from the top of your deck. Choose one grade two or grade o greater card with zeal in its card name from among them and put it into your hands and shovel your deck. This ability may only be used by a card uh, with this uh, same name once per turn, so it's a hard once per turn. Very rare in Vanguard, if I remember correctly. Uh... Cosmic Hero Grand Rope, Grade 3 Searcher. Uh, uh, when placed, look at the top. Uh, during your turn, if you have a Grade 3 or Greater Vanguard. Oh, Unit, my bad. Uh, it gains plus 5,000 power. When placed from hand, look at the 5 cards from the top of your deck. Reveal 1 Grade 3 from among them. Put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck. And if you put a card in your hand, discard it. So, yeah. Former Stride uh, Fodder. I run 4 Twin Order. Skill. When it boosts, your one of your vanguards gets plus 10,000 until the end of the turn for each of your force markers. It's really funny. It goes really fucking high. Uh, I think uh, I've gone up to like 100k when using this deck. Next, for triggers, I run 6 crit. Four heal, if I can get them out quick enough. Sorry if I'm rushing this. I've got literally two minutes left on of memory on my phone. Uh, and finally, six draw. Four of them being PGs. Get out of here, you. Four of them being PGs, two of them being this monster. I wish they brought that frog monster uh, as a retrain. I forgot what it was called. Richard, put a card... Put the... Uh, the card up, the frog monster thing from the original U Police and uh, regular Vanguard series. Anyways, that's the deck. Uh, it's really fun. My favorite, these, yeah, I said it before, I'll say it again. Never had as much fun at playing as I did with this one. I'd say, uh, in an alternate timeline, this would have been my main deck instead of Narukami. In a timeline where I actually had money. Huh. Anyways, that's it. Uh, have any suggestions for this deck? Leave. Oh, I'm pretty sure I stole this deck list straight from di a different fight. Uh, Richard just sent me a deck list. I copied it. Uh, have any other? Have any uh, suggestions for this? Be please feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. Uh, that's pretty much it. How are y'all liking Overdress so far? I'm liking it a lot. Can't wait for the new set to come. Bye.